and that's what causes infertility causes other things but I didn't go into detail and uh, and I said that there's this guy in San Diego he's trying to build a better like a more positive um, that client filters isn't a death sentence that you you can be who you are without that definition of that extra X and that that Ryan and Kelsey are trying to um, motivate other people to, to oh, not to let that define them which I believe in so I had to tell my family all that story and that they that their videographer lives in Edwards and he wants to film me and my journey and they are all excited excited about it so, so stuff like that I'm able to just talk more freely about it and and realizing that it's it's really not that bad that people don't see you any differently than who you are they just know that you know there's a little bit of different chemistry or different buildup in your body but Life in general is full of struggles. At least in my life, it's been a bunch of struggles. And hi hiking is struggling. Um, knowing that I'm gonna, you know, start a hike that, that's gonna go from a two mile hike that has a 1500 foot game, that's pretty steep for me. And I, I just, I struggle with that. Struggle with that mentality thinking, okay, I'm gonna do this, but I don't want to do it. Kind of the same thing with high school. I struggled through high school learning. Learning was hard for me. Learning languages and math were hard. Trying to remember things were hard. I had a goal. I knew I wanted to go to college. I knew, and I knew I wanted to have a career. So I did go to college, but there was always struggles as well. Going through learning again. The learning issue is like I can't figure out why I have this this inability to learn new things. But if the things I love, the things that I love to do, then it's no big deal. But the thing I learned when I was in college, I didn't learn in high school, was learning to reach out and ask for help, and finding people who can help me get through the hard things that I struggled with. I got married my last year in college and I waited a, a year or so to have kids. And then when we started having kids, it was a struggle again, because it's like, here we go again. This whole, this whole pattern is repeating itself. It's like, I can't have kids, why can't I have kids? I was tested, my wife was tested. She came back in, in, in ex, unexplained infertility, but the kicker was I was, I was diagnosed with Clive filters. The number I got on the piece of paper, you have been informed with 47XXY, Kleinfelter syndrome. I'm like, crap, what's that, you know? I was always a happy-go-lucky kind of a guy who just was outgoing. But that diagnosis of Kleinfelter's really set me back emotionally, where it's like I hit, a, I hit a brick wall, literally hit a brick wall and kind of fell down. Falling down in the sense, emotionally fell down, kind of busted my energetic bubble. I was playing the victim for a very long time, for maybe about six or seven years, I was playing the victim, looking for like sympathy from people. It's like, look at me, you know, I've got this condition and I can't have kids and I suck at, at learning, but through the help of my therapist, she's like, but look, these are all these negative things that you're, that you're focusing on. But look at all these positive things that you have to offer. You know, you're you're a kind person. You're, you're a great listener. You're a highly creative person that can figure out these complex problems that other people can't. And so, through the help of her and through some some tools that she gave me, I learned how to put the negatives aside and work and focus on the positive. That person who I was prior to Kleinfelters came back because I decided to put away the negative and focus on the positive. 
every once in a while those negative things will come back and kind of affect me, but they don't affect me in that strong, powerful way that they did in the beginning. It, my whole life up until now, where I'm a, you know, I'm a successful UX designer, building a, a department of UX researchers, you know, I got a college degree, I've got kids, there's always been a positive at the end of the struggle. So hiking to me is analogous to my life. I don't see struggles as a negative. I see struggles as a positive because you always come out stronger in the end.